Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to take a busy looking chart like this into an interactive PowerPoint chart like this. It is the same information. Let us say I want to know the information of March. So I can click on this and you can see that I have March information. I can go to Jan, go to April, go to Feb. And at any point of time, I want to see an overall view of the four months. Then I can go to this button here and that gives me the total view. It's a very simple thing to do. So I want you to pay close attention to the steps of this tutorial. But before that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, which is a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates that help you make your presentations beautiful and engaging. Let me start with this slide here. This is a typical sales report. You can see that there are performances of six different people across four different months presented in one single chart. Naturally, the information is too cluttered and it can overwhelm the audience. So I decided to separate the information for each month and make it available for consumption on a click. So let me show you what I did for that. The first step was to duplicate the slide. I right clicked on the chart, went to edit data and that opened up the workbook like this. Let me expand this so you can clearly see what I've got here. The entire table of data is selected here. And naturally that is the reason why we have these many elements here. I decided to reduce the selection to just one month. So I clicked on this and I moved my selection here. So I only had the information for Jan. Perfect. Let me close this. I then did a little bit of cleaning up of this one. So let me delete this. We don't really require that information. Then I don't really require the information for this one either. Then I saw the color of the month of Jan and it was blue and therefore I decided to retain the color as blue. Then I duplicated the slide and once again I right clicked and went to edit data. And you can see that the selection now is uh, shown only for Jan. I decided to move the selection to February. So I clicked on this and moved this one here and clicked on this and moved it to February and only February's information is shown. Beautiful. Then I saw that the color convention used was red and therefore I decided to change this to red. And just to make it easy for the people to recognize the specific months, I also decided to add a bar at this point. So let me go to shapes and uh, I used a very simple color coded bar like this and also used the same color for it. And I copied this again and I put it here in the previous one and used the same blue color that I used earlier. So it is easy for the audience to understand which month is being referred to. Then I duplicated this again. So I could do the same process for the remaining months as well. Right click, edit data and change the selection in the workbook. Go to March and then change the selection to March. Perfect, closed. And this again, the convention is green. So I decided to use this as the green color. Let me go here and use the green color and change the bar color to green color as well. Right click, duplicate the slide and then last time edit data and change the selection to April. There the job is done and the convention that is used here is the purple color. So let me select this, use the purple color and for this bar use the same purple color as well. Now we have split one chart into four separate charts. Now we should allow the audience to go to any specific chart they want based on certain buttons. So how do we create the buttons? I decided to change the title. Instead of sales performance of our team from Jan to April, I decided to take only sales performance off and remove the remaining ones. So I could add the buttons for Jan, Feb, March and April. Let us do the exact same thing for the remaining slides as well. Of course, I could have done that earlier, but then I wanted to show you what exactly was the logic behind why I took a certain decision. Now let us go back to the first slide here. Let us add a button. Maybe something that looks like a button is a nice idea. So I went to rectangle rounded corners and drew something like this. And I wrote the month Jan here. And to make it easy for the audience to read it, I increased the font size to two cent empty condensed extra bold, which is a bold font and January was taken. And you can see that I used the same convention as the previous one. This color, this color and this color are all the same. Then let us go to shape effects, go to preset and use something 
nice that looks like a button so i chose preset 3 so this looks like a beautiful button then i decided to make the three other buttons by copying the same thing so we i kept the next one right next to the previous one changed it to february and used the same convention as the previous one which is red color so let us go here and change the color to red and then control d and then control d and call this march and the convention used is green as you know so let us go here and say that and control d and this time the convention is to use purple color and let us use the purple color so we have the four buttons ready it is time for us to connect these buttons to the relevant months so i selected the first one pressed control k which is the shortcut for hyperlink then i went to place in this document and you can see that i wanted to refer to this slide which is slide number two so i selected this and i said okay then the next one needs to refer to the next month so control k which is the shortcut for hyperlink so let us select this and say okay and this one control k and connect it to the next one and say okay this one control k connect it to the fifth one and say okay so now these are all beautifully hyperlinked now i'm going to use a very simple transition for all these four slides so the transition is very smooth i used a simple fade animation and nothing more then i chose to copy this because all these are hyperlinks and we have control v here control v here and control v here so for all the slides we have the same hyperlinked buttons so there is a lot of effort that is saved here then i thought if somebody wanted to see the performance of these people side by side then they would need to have an option for that so i decided to create a new slide which is nothing but a blank template then let us go here right click and copy and then go to the slide right click and paste it as a picture and this picture can be kept in the top left corner and just to make it visible for us to distinguish it i used a black outline i then did the exact same thing for the remaining months as well went here and then pasted it back as a picture and then use the same outline and then i kept it right next to it and then right click here copy and then go back to this right click paste as picture and then put it in the bottom left corner shape outline and this one copy and then go here right click paste as picture shape outline is black and then let us place this over here and this is the slide that needs to appear when anybody wants to click on some button in any of these slides so i decided to use a small little round button so i went to circle and then drew a small circle like this and gave it some distinct color maybe in this case i used a blue color went to shape effects preset and used a similar kind of a convention so it looks like a button and i connected this after selecting this i press ctrl k so i could take the audience to slide number six and i said okay now i copied the same button and placed it on every other slide as well you can see that it is all on every other slide excellent now we have our presentation ready so this is the original presentation then we have these slides and you can see that there is a nice transition which is a fade transition so we have jan if i want to see march i click and it takes me to march performance and if i want february april january so it is a beautiful interactive chart where only the information relevant to a particular month is shown so there is less overwhelm for the audience if at any point of time the audience wants to see a comparison of all the months then they can always click on any of these uh, blue dots and that will take them to this comparative performance and if for some reason people want to see all the information combined into one chart and they want that view then probably you will connect instead of this you can connect them to this slide which gets pointed by way of this button which is in the corner so it is completely up to you what i showed you was just a simple idea of how to take a complex and cluttered looking chart break it down into its individual components and have it as an interactive chart so it is easier for the audience to play with and understand the information how you want to apply this idea to your individual charts is purely left to your imagination now talking about imaginative and creative powerpoint charts 
I would like to take you to some of the templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. These are the templates. As you can see, the style is very beautiful and they are all data-driven charts. For example, if I want to take any of this information and edit this chart, all I need to do is to right-click and go to edit data. And here you can see the number is 34. I can change that number to something else, maybe say 26 and hit enter. You can see that the information is changed and it is that easy to customize any of the charts that you see here. And we have such beautiful charts available in the templates like this. And the best part is we have recently introduced a darker version of all our templates. All 4,500 of our templates in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle are available in our darker version as well. The darker versions look just as beautiful. For example, take a look at this one. It looks really stunning, isn't it? So we have taken a lot of effort to make this conversion. So if you are a customer of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle already, then you can download all these templates in the darker version as well. So please take advantage of the option available. So you have more options to make your slides look impressive. For those of you who have not got comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle yet, I highly recommend that you make a purchase if you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your profession. The link is in the description box below the video. If you're looking for another tutorial on PowerPoint chart animation, then I will leave a link to that video right here. You can click on the link and watch that video next. We also have a five day free email training called as 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, where I share 25 practical PowerPoint ideas that you can use in your next business presentation. To join the course, all you need to do is to click on the link right here. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course, and I will see you inside.